Hello everyone and welcome to episode 13 of Daily Flip. In today's show, we're going to be looking at a few things I've taken care of today. I um, had a few little tedious repairs, mostly cosmetic, that I took care of on a few of my cars on the front line. Also, I had to get pictures of most of them, not all of them. I accidentally deleted some pictures off my phone, which were pictures of the cars. So when I relist cars online, I'll talk more about that in a minute and why I do that. But when I relist them, I didn't have the pictures available to do so. So it's important that I'm relisting every day so that I can get the most views possible because the more people that see my vehicles, the better chance that I have that someone actually buys them. So hopefully it's not raining. It's kind of been a nasty day today. I uh, started out not so bad. It's got colder throughout the day. It started raining. I don't think it's raining, if so, just barely. Uh, but the cars that I had to get pictures of today were our Impala, the Outlook here, our Rutan, the Explorer, this Mercury Montego, and I haven't had time to get our BMW over there uh, photographed yet because we were putting a catalytic converter on it. If you watch the episode Friday, episode 12, I believe I mentioned that I actually had to stay a little bit late to inspect that. Uh, the emissions inspection was due. It passed, but we had a catalytic converter to put on because the check engine light was going to come back. I already had it in stock, so I paid my mechanic to put that on for me. So I got to get pictures of that, have that up there tomorrow. But little things that I've been working on today, little tedious things, things that I really should have already done but just hadn't had a chance to. Like on this one, it had some numbers. This was a fleet car, so I had to get off. There was some residue left over, like right up here. There was some on the front. There was some on the passenger side. That was just a quick uh, spray of brake cleaner on a paper towel and uh, we wiped that right off. Little things like this, I'm gonna turn the camera around. This little bezel here, hopefully this is on securely, at least where it's not gonna come off. This was loose, wanted to come off. It's still not perfect, a little crack there, but if someone bumps it, at least it's not gonna fall off now. So we took care of that. I'm gonna lock this up and we'll walk to the next car. Let's see, Alec was just pictures. Equinox is pretty much good. Actually, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to show you the after. And you're really not going to be able to see it that well today because it's wet. It doesn't look as bad. I've been meaning to do this. We've got a clear coat peel. Let's see if I can show you better up close. Um, right here, you can see the clear coat's peeling. Now, when it's not wet, this does not have as much of a shine. So this is nice, shiny clear coat. This is not. In the middle here, we've got the spot where it's peeled to all the way down. And then again, right here, we're going to be attempting to fix that tomorrow. So hopefully we'll have maybe a separate standalone video of how to fix fading click out, I guess is what we titled that. Uh, this one here actually was supposed to have a fix up front. It started raining, so we didn't have a chance to. It's actually sticking right now, so I really don't want to touch it, but okay, I'm not going to touch it because it's actually staying now. Right here, uh, we were going to put some adhesive to hold this in. There's a little spot where this piece here has popped out, so I'm gonna leave that because it's not <laughs> poking out now. Um, but if that pops off, it started raining. I got some special adhesive that we'll use to fix that. Um, this here, this is a Ford Explorer. This right here looked nothing like it does now. Um, the type of paint they use on this sometimes will start to peel, and every time someone's finger rubs across it or their fingernail, it will peel it off. So this was nasty looking. We popped this off, just a few pops. This will come right off. I'm not gonna do it because it's up there nice now. We took this inside and used a trim paint that matched this perfectly. I'll show you in a minute the type of paint we used. We also did the one on the other side. So those look nice now. Um, little details like that, especially when they're on the driver door. First thing somebody looks at is gonna be this area. So we wanted to make that nice. Uh, otherwise, our BMW is ready on the front line. Now this is like prime time, perfect tax time car, which is what it is right now. Um, what did I take care of? There's a little spot up front that's missing. This little piece here, there's a little tow hook that can go in right here. I don't know if you can even see that in the camera, but there's a little square piece of plastic that's missing. It was very glaring and obvious that it was missing. So I sprayed this black in here just to kind of detract someone's eyes from going down there. Um, we did a little touch up paint in the back, um, right around, we did some, this was chipped off pretty well. This here is actually melted. We had to replace the catalytic converter so it must have gotten really hot back here. You can see a little bit where this plastic is melted, the exhaust. 
and my camera's on a tripod, so I'm gonna pull it sideways. Exhaust is here, this got really hot. So we had some touch-up paint we put in right here and over here, so you don't notice it as much. And then we also, I'm gonna zoom back out, had a spot on the door here. Let me get my key out of my pocket. We'll unlock this. I can show you. When I got this on trade, this piece here had blue tape that was actually running from here and then here, because this here wouldn't stay, so they just decided they would tape it using blue tape of all things. So we used something called Quickset 20. Actually, we used the 3M version. I'll show you that inside. I forget the name of it. Quick something, I'll show you. So it'll hold this on. It's supposed to set within 20 seconds. So 20 seconds to a minute. We glued inside here, and then we taped over. We rolled the window down and taped over to let it set. So that one's good to go. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna be putting a fan clutch on this F, not F-150, a uh, Sierra. It's getting really cold right now. This is getting colder as we go. Um, on the Jaguar back here, we've got hopefully a speed sensor. I mentioned this last week. It was ready, we thought. Check engine light, transmission started acting funny. Hopefully we've got a speed sensor we'll be replacing on this. Our Jeep Grand Cherokee in the back, we're having starting issues. We thought it might be ignition, could be key. This one back here, right over there. Actually, it's just a starter. We got under it, it wasn't starting. We hit the solenoid on the starter, started right up, so we narrowed that down. That was a $35 starter on, uh, that was from carpart.com, car-part.com. That's a uh, resource that you can use to find and source parts all over the country, but you're not worried about all over the country, you're just worried about your area. So instead of going to every single junkyard and saying, I've got a fill in the blank car, I'm looking for a fill in the blank part, they'll source that for you and you can find everybody that's close to you. It'll show prices and availability, so check that out. Instead of going from junkyard to junkyard, I'm gonna take you inside, show you some of the parts that I was using. This here actually is our fan clutch that I was mentioning. I think I showed it Friday, but it's here in front of me. This is what we'll be putting on the GMC Sierra, as well as a blower motor resistor. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put these out so I don't forget them in the morning. It'll remind me what we're doing. It's our blower motor resistor. And we'll take you in the back, show you this glue. Very handy to have. It's not cheap. It's like, I don't think it ranges anywhere from $40 to $60 per seven ounces. Um, again, I used the 3M version. I think I've got the other out here, maybe. This is what it is. Now what you're seeing, this red apparatus with the handle, the call, it reminds me of like a souped up caulk gun. Um, this is a separate piece. You can actually see the part number right there. It's 08571. We'll put a link for it in the posting. You have to have this to actually work in the middle there. You see the 3M, that's our part number there. 04247. Uh, they call it super fast plastic repair. And literally, if I squirt this out and it sets up, I'm gonna try to sit my camera here and lean it. So maybe I can use my hands, maybe not. If this camera falls, it's gonna be really bad. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. But this ends up setting up like a hard plastic. You can't really see that, but you can see that I can't bend it. This is set up on the end of this tip. Every time that you use this, you have to have a new tip. So in my drawer here, I've got several extra tips here. They come in all colors. I don't know that there's a difference, but these screw on the front and it allows the two parts, which there's two tubes there. So they mix together. They actually get really hot. They interact and they end up hardening. So that's that product. SEM makes a similar, actually this is it right here. This is the SEM version. You'll hear me call it Quick Set 20 a lot. That's what this is. I think this stuff works better. It works about the same. It seems like I've had better results with this. A lot of times the 3M version is a lot cheaper. Sometimes I'll find it online on sale. So I'll go back and forth between these two, but this is the one that I use if I can. If, if prices are the same, I'm buying this one. Our part number on this one is, actually is it the same part number? Four zero? That's funny, it's, it's close. This part number is at the top there. 40207 if you wanted to look that up. Um, it comes with two of these little nozzles there. You can use the same 
gun. Um, if you want to, you can buy the SEM gun, but it's like twice as much, it does the same thing. Actually, this one's bent because I accidentally ran over it with a truck, so it's pretty sturdy. Um, so that's that product. Um, alternatively, if you want something cheaper, you could use something like this. It's a Loctite product. It's a one minute epoxy. It's similar, not as strong, doesn't set as fast, but it does the job. We actually used it uh, yesterday, no, today or this morning on something, I forget what. This is the paint that I was telling you about, a, um, uh, like a vinyl and fabric. There's a cheaper version here. This is Duplicolor's version. Uh, I prefer the quality of the SEM. But if I'm painting something generic, like a black or a gray, that's not gonna matter. I'm gonna go with the duple color because it's cheaper, it's half the price. But this actually here doesn't have a cap on it. But this was the actual one I used today. The color was medium prairie tan. The, uh, it's on the bottom there. But you can use these colors to match up. Um, that's a Ford, the medium prairie tan. This light parchment is also a Ford color. Um, It'll say it on the bottom here as well. They sell charts, or a lot of times they'll give you a chart. If you go to a paint supply store, if you're gonna be using this frequently, they'll give you a chart so I can take my chart, match up with the vehicle. I stock and keep a lot of it. As you can see, I end up acquiring a lot of paint, so I'll come and see if I have it first. I, I brought in those pieces of plastic today. I held it up over here and I matched up. Actually, this is the cap here. So I matched up my plastic with this cap, and it also has our code and name of the paint right there. So I matched up my plastic with this cap and it let me know that it was gonna match up. So I just laid it out, actually set it on top. I used this cap to sit off the piece of plastic. This is the other cap I used. Actually, you can still see where I had it. Right here, you can see these little holes here and here. So I had this cap right here. I sat in a little piece of plastic on top of it, sprayed around it. We just put two light coats, it covered pretty well. And I'll put this back on my 409. I go to carpet cleaner. We did a video on that the other day. You can look in the recent feeds um, about how to clean carpet using household products. That's really good stuff. Uh, but that was my day today. Tomorrow will be a lot of uh, hopefully repairs. My, my mechanic's gonna be in. We've got three cars. I see Silverado. What's the other? Um, we got a 300 out front. That's later in the week. We got a catalytic converter ordered. So the Jaguar would be one of them, so Sierra. Hopefully Jaguar, if we can locate that speed sensor. It's a, a transmission input speed sensor. So if that's off, it's gonna throw it out of whack. And there was one more. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. A Mountaineer, we have a 2007 Mountaineer in the back that needs a right front, uh, what is it? A wheel bearing, I believe. So we've gotta put the wheel bearing in, and then all three of those will be, are really close to being front line ready. Um, which tomorrow for me, I got a lot of my tedious stuff out of the way today. I still have some vehicles to list. That I'll probably be doing here in just a minute, if time allows, because uh, I'm running to the gym here in T minus 14 minutes. So we'll see if I have time to edit this before I leave. Uh, otherwise, we'll get those cars on the front line hopefully tomorrow. Right now there are seven. I would love tomorrow when I do this video for there to be nine on a perfect day, 10. I don't know if we'll actually get 10 out there. Um, or if something sells, I would love for that to be a reason. There's not that many out there, but we're trying to up our front line given this tax time. I feel like I'm rambling, so I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll see you guys in episode 14 tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, I would love to be able to share more of this information with you. If you have any questions, post below. I'll answer every single one of them that pops up as soon as I can. I'll be at the gym here in the next few hours, so I'll be checking in between reps, actually in between Run, I'm running tonight, so I'm trying to get two miles in. Uh, so I will definitely see you guys in the comments. Have a great evening, and I'll see you in episode 14.